up guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'm so excited about because we are doing a little basement home gym tour this was highly requested on my instagram today i asked what questions you had so we're going to get into all the nitty-gritty of the stuff that i put together didn't put together what i think is worth it the basics and just kind of like how long it took and everything that you guys asked about the basement gym so without further ado Welcome to the video. Well, first things first, obviously, we have the newest addition to the basement, which is the sauna. The brand of this is called Sunlighten, and the model is the um, Impulse Aspire. It's a one-person sauna, and I will go ahead and link everything that I'm talking about in today's video in the description box so you can check it out. This is not sponsored. I pay for this with my own money. But let me tell you, an infrared sauna is legit. Like, I think this is just the coolest thing ever. There's so many different features. I'm gonna show you the inside of it, but I also kind of want to talk about some of the things that were a pain. As you can see, this is made out of wood and it's very, very heavy. This is almost 500 pounds and it took two people, myself and Austin's best man, Ben, four hours to put this together and it was not easy. Like, I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Everyone, when I watched these videos, they were like, yeah, 45 minutes, it's so easy. And we're like, we got this. We did not got this at all. <laughs> it was so hard. And we had a panel fall at one point. The wiring's really hard. A couple of things to notate with this sauna, um, the instructions were kind of crappy, honestly, for the price that this sauna is. And for this specific model, I, I think it starts at like 6,500 or something like that, plus the shipping. And then it obviously goes up the more person sauna that you get and the different models. This is the eucalyptus model. And you know, like I, I was honestly a little bit disappointed in the fact that for such a high price item, the process of putting it together was so difficult. It seemed like there was not like a very simple, easy way to do it. It was so complicated. And I don't know, I just felt like for that, amount of money they should at least have somebody like come and set it up for you or like teach you how to do it i don't know but aside from the assembly the sauna is really cool so <laughs> the different modes that you can do the lights change i mean you straight up can like do a whole uh party of colors in there if you wanted to like you can change them all let's see like look at that wait <laughs> <laughs> you can like do a disco if you want through there. The inside of the sauna, if you want to go ahead and get yourself in there, because I don't think both of us will fit. <laughs> the backrest, and then the panels come from the sides and the floor, and then you have this neato tablet in here. Do all kinds of things on here. I even downloaded Fitbit onto this because you can download like different apps. Um, but the sauna app that comes with it is just the Sunlight In app. You can do different um, settings and all that stuff. So in another video, once I use this like more frequently and I have like more detailed thoughts on it I'll do like a designated video just for the sauna but I just had to point out that it was not the easiest thing to put together and you know me I don't love putting things together so but it looks cool so that's all that matters okay anyways moving on my favorite part honestly so this area right here Pretty much everything is from home goods. I have Eliza's dog bed here because she always loves to sit on the floor and watch me when I'm on the Peloton bike. This little, I think it's a shoe rack, but if it's not, I made it into a shoe rack. I got this from home goods, faux plant from home goods. And these portraits of the dogs were actually made by a follower, which is like the coolest thing ever. And I just love them and I finally have like a good spot for them. And I just think that's so awesome. So I put them here, another little faux plant from home goods. These mirrors actually, both of the mirrors that are on either side of the floor of the gym were from when we had our bathroom remodeled. They took the mirror off of the wall and we were like, oh, throw it away, like those are good mirrors. So we just popped them down here and just leaned them up against the wall and they're great. The neon sign is from Amazon. My yoga mat is from Lululemon. Of course, you guys have already seen my Peloton bike, which is probably my favorite thing that I've purchased this past year. Moving over here, we have the Nordic Track Quad Flex treadmill. We actually really lucked out with this because when we bought the house, the guy that sold it to us, he really didn't want to move the treadmill, so he was like, you can just have it. So that was really cool. We got a free treadmill when we bought this house. So that is does the trick for my Peloton workouts, which I'm going to show you over here. I got this little bookshelf guy from Home Goods, I believe, or Kohl's, one of the two. And all I did was just add a Vizio TV to the top because it has a smart TV app feature. So you can download apps. And then when I'm doing my tread boot camps, I run on the treadmill and have the big screen up here so I don't have to look at it on my phone, which I absolutely love. Everything over here is just like, 
you know, the Wi-Fi, the cameras, the little uh, tape holder, chalk, and nothing really too exciting over there. We have our Fit Aid fridge, which is actually not currently filled with Fit Aid. It's filled with amino energies, which are really good. Mostly for Austin, because he likes to drink a lot of pre-workout. <laughs> we have a makeshift GHD machine, which I think this may have been a Facebook Marketplace purchase. Uh, Austin loves Facebook Marketplace. He literally stocks it all the time for fitness stuff for both the gym and our house. And we've gotten quite a few uh, bumper plates from there, dumbbells, barbells. So if you never look on Facebook Marketplace, definitely check that out. That was one of the questions that tons of people asked is like where I got everything. Mostly, aside from obviously like the Peloton bike and the decor, mostly everything was either from Rogue or from Facebook Marketplace. This bench is a Facebook Marketplace find. However, the dumbbells that we have, mostly the hexagon ones are from Rogue, and then these little different 25 pounds and 45 pound guys, I believe are also from Facebook Marketplace. The flooring that you're seeing in this is from Menards, and I dabbled back and forth with wondering if I should do like a horse mat stall, because I know a lot of people do that, but they're really heavy, and I wasn't sure about how I would be able to get that downstairs in such a small frame, you know, cause it's like wrapped up really big. So instead I got these little like coin tile things and it's very thin, but it's super sturdy and super easy to clean up. And I just got two big rolls and we just rolled one this way and one this way. And I think I'm just gonna leave it like this, honestly, like half and half, because I don't really use this other side of the floor on this side of the gym except for the uh, platform. The paint color that I ended up choosing was Sherwin-Williams Iron Ore and then the complimentary white for the pole. I can't recall the name of it, but I will put it in the description box. And it took these guys two days to do it. They came one day, primed the concrete. As a side note, everyone thought it was brick. I thought it was brick. It's actually stamped concrete, which I didn't even know was a thing. The, the more you learn when you own a house, I guess. But they came in, Prime the brick one day, let it dry, came back and literally painted all of this in like four hours. It took two guys, so worth it. Like there's no way I could have done this myself and the, they were so nice and it came out amazing. I was a little hesitant about the dark color. Like I was going back and forth with doing something bright and like cute and fun. And then I was like, nah, cause then what if I get sick of it, you know? So then I ended up going with the dark color and it's not a true black. It's like a very, very deep gray black. But obviously with the lack of natural lighting here, it does look a little bit more black, but I, I love it. Like I'm so glad I ended up doing it and I didn't really think too much on it, which is not like me. Typically I panic about things for minimum three days, but I did it with this and I just was like, yeah, just do it, just do it. And I love it. So highly recommend the iron ore color. It was actually recommended by you guys. So thank you for that color choice. The platform, a lot of people asked if I built this. Hell I could not imagine myself building a platform. I could literally barely put together something with instructions. So this was a Facebook marketplace find. Somebody built that themselves. I mean, all the power to these people who can build this kind of stuff because I think it's so awesome. But this was so hard to get downstairs, like extremely heavy. Like when we sell this house, I think I'm just gonna be like, hey, home gym included. <laughs> I don't know how he made it. I'm assuming there's probably a tutorial out there in the world somewhere, but I don't know. Moving along to the end of the gym, we have the plates, the bumper plates, which again, most of them are from Rogue. Whether they're not branded, I think they're just Facebook marketplace or just like random, you know, websites that you can find bumper plates on. Sometimes like Dick Sporting Goods has them, but they're not the best quality. So I would definitely suggest checking Facebook Marketplace or purchasing from like a gym that's closing down. That's where Austin actually got a ton of the bumper plates for, for the gym. That's where most of those are from. The wall balls are from Rogue. And this uh, squat rack is from Rogue as well. This one was not as difficult to get downstairs as I thought it was gonna be because we just like unbolted them and carried it down piece by piece and then rebuilt it in here. So. Basically any of those big items, that's what you have to do. You have to break it down to the bare minimum and then build it up in here, which is kind of a pain, but I mean, it's not going anywhere for a while. So that's pretty much where everything is from. Okay, so going through just a couple of Instagram questions that I posted when I asked if any of you had questions about the basement gym. Number one question was about the cost of everything. And with something like this, I did everything in parts and this is kind of how I handle big projects like this. So since we've been living here, which has been a little over two years, I started adding things to here piece by piece. So probably in total, it's been around like 
I would say 15,000, but I'm not 100% sure only because I did it in such small amounts that it never really was like a ginormous purchase that I just like wrote a check for. And for me, like I always feel better about that because I don't like taking loans out. I don't like doing anything like that. So I just like to work piece by piece. As far as doing more to the basement, we are not gonna do any other type of like renovations because the next st step up for a basement would be having essentially a finished basement. And with us not planning on living here forever, there's just no reason to do that. And honestly, like, this looks cool to me. I don't need to have like wood floors. I don't need to have anything. This is already heated, air conditioned. Really the only difference with making this a finished basement would just entail closing the ceilings instead of having like that open raft look and then putting floors in. And it's just like, this is a gym, you know? Like I'm not, this is not a room essentially, except for Liza's room, so. The ceilings are, I believe, uh, seven and a half feet. So it's almost eight feet, but because the wood beams are just a little bit lower, it shortens it. For me, I'm 5'2", and as you guys have seen, I don't have any issue doing Olympic lifting. Austin, however, does, but he's also 6'1", or 6'2". So keep that in mind if you are, you know, on the taller side and you're looking to add a platform down here. Best places to find equipment, I kind of already touched on this, but there's really not anything like better or worse. I would just suggest going based off what you have available to you. If you have a good Facebook marketplace or you have good gyms that are willing to sell things to you, also checking out CrossFit gyms who might be closing or functional fitness places like that. This, this is a random question. What disinfectant do you use to clean your home gym and tools? So I sweep it and use the Bissell Crosswave with, with like a Lysol uh, mix in the water compartment of the Bissell. So it's like a hot water mix, but then you add Lysol to it and it just cleans the floor va by vacuuming and mopping. It's literally the best purchase I've ever made in my entire life. Oh, someone asked why I'm not working out at Austin's gym. Okay, I am still, but hear me out. The reason I started getting like really into renovating this basement was the winter. This past winter was really, really hard on me and I got like just really not wanting to leave the house. The seasonal depression was so bad for me this past winter and I just really had a hard time leaving and going to the gym. It's so cold in his gym because it is a warehouse gym. It's not, I mean, it's heated, but it's not the same. Like you don't have heaters blasting on you. So it's really uncomfortable for me. And during the winter time, I just didn't find myself going as much. I still go, I still go to do the workouts. Right now we're in the open. So doing open workouts. Um, but I just, for me with the Peloton bike and everything here, it just, I've just been enjoying working out in the basement. It's not that I'm not going to the gym. Heat and air, yes, the basement has heat and air. If it's at the sauna, lots of the questions are about the sauna. So like I said, I will do a designated video on that, but for now, this is just kind of like the home gym. Treadmill recommendations. I want the Peloton tread so bad, but I'm not gonna do it. That's a very big purchase and I'm not, I'm not doing that after I did all this. Oh, the rug that's under the sauna. That is from Boutique Rugs. That is the only other question I didn't answer. Boutique Rugs and same with that rug over there because they're just really thin. I uh, don't love them for house rugs as far as comfort goes, but for down here, it's awesome. And it just kind of adds a little bit of color to this otherwise very neutral space. So that is pretty much all the questions that I had. I hope that I answered all your home gym questions. And of course, if you have any others, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss Monday with Manders. And we're in the open for the next three weeks. So I'm gonna be continuing to put out some gym, nutrition content, and anything else related to the CrossFit Open. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.